Problem statement. Determine the service expiry date of a product whose validity is 6 months from the date of ordering. So let me go back to the data view. Now here in the sales table, what we want to do is that considering the order date to be the start of the service, we have to find out the expiry date of the service which is 6 months from the order date. So I'll add a new calculated column for that. I'll name this column as expiry date. And the function here I'll use is edate. Go to the function and hit tab. Now here the first argument is the start date. Now the start date in this case is the order date as it is the start of the service. So it will be under sales table and the column is order date and then comma and now the next argument is months. So here it says returns the date that is the indicated number of months before or after the start date. So in our case here we are looking for a date after 6 months. Now if you are looking for a date prior to the start date then your months should be a negative number. For example, if you want to find out a date 3 months prior to the start date, then you can give minus 3 as months. But in this case, we want to find out a date 6 months after the start date or order date. So I'll give 6, close the bracket and enter. So here we have got a new column expiry date which shows the date in the format of date and time. Let us change this format. For that we can go to the format under column tools. Click on this drop down and select the format that you are looking for. So I want to change it to a date format with no timestamp. So I'll select this one as it matches the order date format. So you can see the format has changed but the date is single digit here whereas in order date it's double though it does not make any difference. Just to keep it uniform I'll select this DDMMMMYYYY format instead of the single D format. So now you can see that the expiry date and order date format are same. Now let us look at the results. So if a service starts on 7th August 2015, it expires on 7th February 2016. This is 6 months after the order date. And if a service starts on 19th December 2015, it expires on 19th June 2016. So with the help of edate function, for a given date, you can find out a date before or after certain months from that date.